Hi everybody, it's Kathy Andes with Simply Cards by Kathy, and thank you for joining me today. It is Wednesday, July the 20th, 2022, and this is number four of our um, Christmas in July series. I am normally would be here with you live, but I've actually pre-recorded this video because I will be having some surgery today on my right hand and not able to be here with you. But I didn't want us to miss out on the Christmas in July and postpone a video, so I thought I'd pre-record it for you, and I hope to be back with you on Friday. If you're new and joining me for the first time, I'm so glad that you found me, and thank you for joining me. And if you're returning, um, I greatly appreciate that you've come back. So I am going to um, show you a cute card today. We're going to use North Pole Mischief, and it's very different. It's kind of a whimsical, fun little card, and um, we're going to have some fun with it. I'm going to make one card with you, and um, then I'm going to show you a second one. So I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to flip this camera over to my desktop, and let's get started. Okay, hopefully you can see and hear me okay, and if you're joining me, um, please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from and if it's your first time joining. We are going to use North Pole Mischief, and this is a cling stamp set. Very few um, stamps in here, but really cute ones. Now, um, I am going to use the... Um, dog with the gift who's wrapped up the cat and we're going to have some fun with that this evening and um, then I will show you the one with um, the other image where the cat um, is in, in the card. So I wanted to take a moment to show you that you can find this stamp set in the new July to, um, December mini catalog on page 37 and it is a stamp set and um, today we're going to actually be, be doing some um, sip cards, stamps, ink and paper, simple stamping. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to get started. Um, today I'm going to be using real red cardstock and I decided to pair it up with our um, designer series paper um, that we have um, all the colors that have that we have in all the colors and this is the regals um, so you can see we have a rich razzleberry and garden green and just really beautiful colors now each color comes um, four sheets each and you get uh, like a polka dot and then a plaid on one side and then you get two sheets of the same color with stripes and then um, real small floral pattern. So today we are using the real red and um, I've decided to use the plaid on this. So remember that you don't have to write everything down, that all the measurements are going to be right down below the video when we're done. And you'll be able to uh, get measurements, um, supplies, and there'll be directions there for you. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is a 4 and a quarter by 11, scored at 5 and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this on the score line and just um, give it a burnishing with my bone folder. This is going to open to the left, almost like a book. And then this is a piece of four um, by five and a quarter. And um, I think we'll use, do we want to use the plaid? Yeah, I'm going to use the plaid instead of the polka dot. So let's go ahead and we're going to adhere this um, to our front. I hope you're all having a good week. And um, gosh, it's Wednesday, so we're more than halfway through the week and we'll be coming up on a weekend. So I um, was anxious to show you this card because it's just kind of fun and a whimsical card, one that you can have some fun with. 
Now, if you hear some noise in the background, that's my golden, Bailey. He is here in the uh, studio with me, and he is sleeping on the chair, and he must be dreaming. <laughs> so um, he will wake himself up here in a minute. This is the inside of our card, and um, the greetings on this are different. Um, happy gift wrapping season for this one, and here you've been good this year mostly. And then Mary, Mary. So we're going to do a little something different with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, let me back up here, and we're going to stamp our large image so it can dry. Now, we are going to use the pup with the uh, Christmas gift, and I'm going to stamp it in Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And because I'm going to watercolor this with my watercolor pencils. Now, um, before I, I came on to do the video, I had made a card, and I actually, um, I didn't like it. I colored it in with my Stampin' Blends, and it just... For some reason, for me, either maybe I just didn't like the colors or it just seemed too bold and too bright. So I decided, well, let's try the watercolor pencils and let's see how um, it looks. And I actually did the cat in the watercolor pencils and I'll show you that when we're done. And I really, really liked it. So that's what made me um, switch to that. Now, I am using the shimmer white paper, and the reason I'm using it is because we are watercoloring. When you watercolor, you want to use shimmer white or you want to use the, use the Fluid 100 watercolor paper that's sold by Stampin' Up. And um, if you use the um, just the regular basic white. Um, it, it doesn't hold the water as well and your paper will start to peel or you may get some denuding of the paper. So um, because I'm watercoloring, um, I will use, I used Tuxedo Black Memento ink and I'm gonna let it dry because it won't won't run then because it's water-based. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute and go back to our inside. Now the inside is just um, basic white cardstock, cut it four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting or sentiment and it says happy gift wrapping season. So I'm going to um, ink this up. and simply going to stamp right in the middle. And that looks good. Now because we're doing the, the dog, there's a little uh, stamp in here that is a footprint. And I thought that would be really cute to just have some um, prints going up from the corner of the card. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and that'll be our inside. Now one of those did not stamp as well as I would have liked to, uh, so I'm actually going to flip it over. Um, and that's the nice thing about the cardstock is you can always turn it over. I'm going to let it go with just the three. And then we're going to restamp our uh, sentiment in here. And there we go. So I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and adhere this to the um, inside of our card. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, green glue or the multi-purpose glue. Okay. 
because it um, I like the green glue because if you need to slide or reposition things it, it actually works well for that so let's go ahead and that looks good and just adhere it down and we're going to set this off to the side now we're ready to start um, painting or coloring our um, image. So I brought in my water painter. This is the uh, smallest tip of the water painters. Stampin' Up! sells them in threes and if you watched my videos the last couple weeks you've seen I've done a lot with different types of water um, coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, I believe, let's start with the present. So I'm going to go ahead and color this a uh, garden green. And I'm just going to, um, you don't have to really color it in any special way. But I do want to make sure that I get color down on most of the image. Now, as we go back, I'll do a little bit of shading on the um, cat or on the dog and show you how you can do that. But right now I'm just putting the color down. And now I'm going to go in with my water painter and I keep a paper towel next to me and I'll wash it, uh, wipe it off so it's not too wet. Now your water painter has a chamber and it does hold water and you can actually squeeze it and um, it keeps the brush moist for you to paint. But um, I find that I can be heavy handed with that and um, get my paper too wet. So I tend to use this little egg crate um, that children use when they're painting in school. And I just keep some water in there. And then I can re-wet my brush and wipe uh, most of the water off um, so that my paper doesn't get too wet. I hope you're having fun looking at the new catalog and seeing all the different holiday stamps that are in there and stamps for Halloween and fall. Um, I'd love if you'd leave me a comment and let me know which is one of your favorite stamps from that catalog. Uh, I wish I could tell you I had one. I don't because I love them all. Okay, so there is our um, package. So now I'm going to take um, Cherry Cobbler from my uh, watercolor pencils. And I'm realizing as I'm telling you that, I didn't even bring in the, the packaging from the pencils to show you what it looks like. But I promise I'll do that here as soon as we're done. So this is the ribbon. And uh, like I said, I'm using Cherry Cobbler. And I'm um, going to uh, color this um, fairly quickly. And I hope you have some plans coming up for the end of the week here that will allow you to have some crafting time or um, some fun time with family. Um, I have a feeling I'll be taking it easy on Thursday, and I hope to be back to crafting and being able to um, do my video on Friday for you. Now, Friday's video will be another um, Christmas in July, um, and next week is the end of our uh, July season, so... After that, we'll be doing cards, but I won't be too, doing two Christmas um, a week. I won't be doing that extra video a week. So I'm going to go in here. I just want to add a little bit more color. And then again, with my brush, just going to pull the color through. 
and you can see um, not so important to hit every uh, area when you're coloring because the water actually helps that paint or the paint the color to spread um, so it doesn't really matter if you miss an area in coloring because it's going to spread with the water now I try and sometimes I don't always do what I preach I try not to um, go back and forth over the paper like you saw me doing there for a minute um, because that just denudes the paper and causes it to pill. So um, I try to go in one direction and pull that color through um, and sometimes when I'm trying to hurry um, I don't always do that so I try to remind myself just like here you can see the color spreading and I had not hit every area of that. That's the nice thing about the watercolors. And I love the look of the watercolors. It's just a real soft um, and this is like, a, oh, it's just such a fun look with this stamp set because it almost looks a, a little whimsical or, or like a comic. Okay. There's our ribbon. Now we're ready to, uh, well, we've got a little bit more ribbon here to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and color that. And I'm going to bring in some darkness for some shading in this one. I don't know about you, but um, this looks like something my dog would have done when he was a pup. So, um, except then he liked to take the toilet paper and pull it and run with it like it was a ribbon. Um, he's three and a half years old, and thank goodness he's grown out of that now. Okay, there's our ribbon. Now you could leave the image go and leave the cat and the dog um, white, um, but I don't want to do that. I want to um, give them some color. So I'm going to come in with my basic gray for the cat, and I'm just going to uh, lay down some color here with that watercolor pencil, and then we will... Um, Add a little bit of water to spread that color. Oh, and then I notice here's another ribbon that um, I missed in coloring. So we're going to go ahead and finish up that ribbon here. And then let's paint our cat. Now you can see some areas are darker than others. Um, because I wanted to give them a little bit of shadowing. And I'm not so worried if I don't get every, every um, little corner colored because that pencil, as you wet them, will spread. And I want it to the coloring to look like water coloring. I want it to look uneven. And I want there to be some shading. So there's our cat, and now we just have our uh, pup to do. So I'm going to use Early Espresso on him. And I'm going to add some um, shading on him also, especially around the edges.
and I'm going to leave his um, collar go uh, and we're going to paint uh, paint that. We're going to color that blue and then we'll watercolor it. Now his tail, there we go. And then I'm going to do something um, for his uh, tag. We're going to do something fun with that. So let's go ahead here and get him painted. And you can see how the color spreads even with the shading. Let's just get his tail. Okay. Now um, I'm going to make his collar blue. Or let's let's make it green for Christmas. And I'm going to make that a little bit darker. Okay. Now we're it's. Um, watercolored with our pencils and um, even though it is on the um, shimmer white you could come in and add some Wink of Stella which we may do on the ribbon so let's go ahead and move this water out of the way so I don't dump it and I'm just gonna mount this on here kind of like that and then we're gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella in a gem to his um, tag on his collar and we'll be done. And then I want to bring in the other card to show you from that stamp set. Okay, I'm going to bring in these um, red and green adhesive back pearls. Now they're called red and green, but as you can see, they have um, cherry cobbler, uh, soft succulent, we have silver, and we have gold. And I thought it would look cute to put a silver on there for his tag, um, so that it looks like it's a tag that, you know, the dog wears. So we're going to pick up one of these, and let's just put it right there where his tag is. There we go. Now, um, let's add a little bit of Wink of Stella here. I'm going to bring that in. And we're just going to add a little bit to give the ribbon a little bit of shimmer. So hopefully you can see that. I will pick it up for you as soon as I'm done. And I'm just going to add it to the red ribbon. Let's do the bow. And I think we've got it all but this. Okay. So hopefully you can see that that it's got a little bit of shine and shimmer to it. Now the only thing we need to put is our sentiment. So the sentiment I picked for this card uh, to put on the front is the Mary Mary and I went ahead and stamped it um, ahead of time. And one of my thoughts was to just run it across the bottom and have it say Mary Mary Mary. 
then I thought it might be cute to just cut it up and use some small Stampin' Dimensionals and pop them up all over the front of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my snips and trim these. And then we're going to pop these on. So let's bring in our Stampin' Dimensionals. Now if you like today's video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and help me grow my channel. And then hit that subscribe button. And there's a little bell right under there that um, will, if you highlight that, it will notify you when a new video um, comes out or when I'm on live. And um, I would greatly appreciate that. I, uh, I like using my pick tool to pick the smaller ones up because they're a little bit harder to pick up with your fingers. Let's put this here. And then we have one more that I think we're going to put right on the bottom on the center. Let's put this one there. Okay, and I'm going to move this all out of the way here. And um, so here's our finished card. And then the other one um, is the kitty with the fish. This was also watercolored with the watercolor pencils. And on the inside, I simply used um, a th 3 8 inch strip of paper across the bottom of the basic white. So here's our two cards using the North Pole Mischief. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below and let me know which one you like best. I hope you have a wonderful day and my plans are to be back with you live for Friday Fun at 1. I hope you have a great day and see you soon.